Hand-Drawn Story 1 Different Hand-Drawn Owls Adventure by Jeffrey Stofa Hand-Drawn by Jeffrey Stofa Narrated by Jeffrey Stofa Created in Louis Rawlings' house there once was a hand-drawn owl who didn't look like the other owls and therefore his name was Different Hand-Drawn Owl. Different Hand-Drawn Owl's hair was fluffy like a cat but he was a lot nicer than most cats. Different Hand-Drawn Owl had a circular nose like a clown but he wasn't nearly as funny as a clown. The other hand-drawn owls picked on different hand-drawn owl because he was different. Cool hand-drawn owl was the coolest owl in the forest. He believed that making fun of different hand-drawn owl was cool, and therefore he did it like a sly crocodile that he was. Not really in reality was he a crocodile, but in an alternative universe, yes, cool different hand-drawn owl was a crocodile. So after all the ridicule, cool hand-drawn owl and his owl thugs pressure, Different hand-drawn owl decided to move away from his ridicule rather than resorting to violence because violence is wrong in any manner, which way or form. So different hand-drawn owl made his first journey over hand-drawn land. Yes, hand-drawn land, it was such a beautiful land, and because different hand-drawn owl was different, he flew differently, so therefore it took longer to fly, and enjoy the exquisite mapping all over hand-drawn land. Different hand-drawn owl flew over a hand-drawn farm, and it looked like a friendly farm, so he decided to land on a horny goat. Horny hand-drawn goat was a friendly goat. He understood different hand-drawn owl's plight. He too understood what it was like to be horny in such a cold world. A world that sometimes makes you shiver, but it always gets better, doesn't it? Unfortunately, horny hand-drawn goat had an addiction to eating grass. Different hand-drawn owl didn't believe in eating grass. He thought it was wrong, so he decided to leave the hand-drawn farm. So different hand-drawn owl flew across hand-drawn land again, searching for that special place he could call home, where he could have friends and live happily for the rest of his days as a different hand-drawn owl. Different hand-drawn owl flew over the hand-drawn lake, but he couldn't find a place to land. A shady hand-drawn water snake spat out of the water and offered to let different hand-drawn owl perch on him. Different hand-drawn owl quickly got off the shady hand-drawn snake. Water snake, realizing that he wanted to eat different hand-drawn owl, he obviously was not a very good friend. So yet again, different hand-drawn owl flew across hand-drawn land, but this time he was extremely close to his next place of landing. Different hand-drawn owl thought a life in the city might be fun. Unfortunately, he was wrong. Different hand-drawn owl was very sad. He fluttered back and forth across different hand-drawn land. Nobody loves me, different hand-drawn owl thought. And then 
he saw the different hand-drawn circuits, different hand-drawn owl, hoped that his stop at the circus would be a nice... When different hand-drawn owl flew into the circus, he was surprised. Everybody was different like him. And so, different hand-drawn owl decided to live with the Connies because it's only okay to be different in groups. And when you're alone, you become sad and depressed. And that's not okay, children. Instead, find a friend, find a clique, Find a community, because if you don't have that community, that different association, then all you have is yourself, and that's not enough to live in society. Different hand-drawn owl is happy. Look at his glee. He is quite happy. So our story comes to an end. The end.